Hi guys, we have a question on Discord about Calamaris. And Calamaris is our graphical installer. One of the fun things is that you can, you have actually a Swiss knife, right? Calamaris can do so many things for so many distros. So it really is anything you would like to have as an installer. Now we've created the new ISOs already for mid-November, but um, just as a test, because you've seen me make videos about BTRFS, and this also contains knowledge about ButterFS. Now, first of all, I need to get back into not the installation, but inside the machine itself. So I'll do the following. I'll close this here, close up, power off and do a quick switch switcheroo because he thinks it's EFI. When I switch it, we can actually boot from the CD-ROM or the DVD, right? And we boot up. So the topic is Peter FS. We've made our choices. We went to look in the world, looked at a, a great uh, line out of sub volumes on SUSE and um, made our choices okay this is what we are gonna take as sub volumes the question is can we make manual installation of ptrfs i suppose what he means is not selecting the file system but selecting the sub volumes right now, all you need to know is that any application has a configuration so if you go to the file system, etc, Calamaris, C -c Calamaris, here you are. There must be something in here to tell them how to, well, create sub volumes or anything, right? It's all in here, all files. Now, this little thing is going to be, let me think, I would guess it's going to be mount or something. Let's see, mount.conf, make sure you have a sublime text or an editor and here we have it right this don't touch but this touch all you like so here we have the mount volume for root if you say i don't want the mount point home to be there or i don't want a root to be there let's do this one i don't want server to be there i don't want cache to be there if you want to have other things other um like for instance this one if you say var well it, it really is entirely up to you like the things i've seen was also if you say i want to have var cache pacman packages so that's where all our packages are if you say my var cache that's the name uh no that's the name cache is the name and var cache is where is it you only need to do is type a little bit more but I am in QWERTY, you know the drill. I need to become Azerty. So for cache, pacman slash packages. So now I've told the system that this content of that folder is gonna be mounted on a separate sub volume called cache. Let's see if we make no typos, pacman package. All right, voila. So if log is not important, etc., etc., You keep changing and you keep adding as well because I've been deleting now because we have so many. So deleting is easier, but you just keep typing just like I did here and give it a name. Give it a name that's logical for you. Linux doesn't care what it's called, right? But this is logical. This is, this is defined, but this is logical. Home is the home folder and var cache. I could call this anything. If that is set, it's not saved. You see it here at the, the yeah, point or the icon up there. When I do control S, then it's saved. It's gonna say, hey, you root and all that, but it's saved, it's an X now. And if you launch it now, basically what we've done, <coughs> we've created a manual installation. And the user asked, can we install ButterFS? Okay, no problem, ButterFS, go, 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 right? Choose whatever you want. You go to either Timeshift or Snapper. 
let's select snapper right next and then next 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 my belgian keyboard next erase disk of course you choose butter fs choose whatever you want here and now the question is right this this is the selection to have butter fs but don't think the question was that the question was can we do a manual partitioning next it was already butter fs but there is no nothing here to do anything like that so what if we changed the configuration here on the fly in the system i'm live user why not try that so next next install and i'll pause the video now and we'll come back and see what happens all right everything installed and then you boot up again and have a look let me close the door down Whoa, quick, 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 down, down, down. <laughs> oh, still cold. Thank God for coffee. Ah, voila. So what do we have? We have an operating system. Yeah, okay. Duff, it's Peter FS. Yes, check. Oh, look at that slash home for cash pacman packages we already know that it was a success and there are some commands you might want to learn things about the btrfs subvolume list of root and have a look so this is exactly what we see there in uh, in duff now snap is installed we have in the meantime created a few aliases like snap create me root and then we have a second line so it's much quicker than which works as well peter fs assistant open it up go to snapper say new snapshot and delete and then we'll have a look again click it needs to reload always right reread what do i have on my system so that's that then we have the snap lee that's how it looks here so one and two we don't see number zero but doesn't matter and if you go to the file system itself Control h snapshots there is one and there is two voila so that's another way of doing things stay in control that's what we teach that's what we want you to experience and, and also yeah a goal stay in control know what you're doing know what do you do to the system so in the end you have a system that just works and you can fix if something happens because updates will always be there python updates new plasmas whatever it's always going to happen and all we can do is uh, become a little sherlock holmes and figure it out and acquire knowledge cheers